In Launchpad, you can now search for applications. Scrolling finally bounces in Stacks. Dashboard has new options for the Stacks view. Adding new widgets brings up a new user interface. Software Update now brings up the Mac App Store instead. It's now called OS X. The new Notes for Mac syncs all your notes with iCloud. The new Messages for Mac works with AIM as well as iMessage on your iOS device. The Reader button in Safari is now permanent. You can search in the URL bar in Safari. You can also now tweet from Safari. Mail has new VIP as well as smart mailboxes. Tabs are bigger in Safari and fill up the entire tab bar. You can now view all your saved passwords right in Safari Preferences. System Preferences also shows new screensaver options as well as a new UI. Notification options are also now found in System Preferences. You can set custom controls for allowed and disallowed apps. Privacy has also improved controls over location settings. You can use AirPlay as a sound output device. Accessibility options have been redone and the UI has been completely changed around. You can add Twitter, Flickr, Vimeo, AOL, as well as some other accounts right within System Preferences now. There's a lot more sharing options in QuickTime Player. You can tweet, email, message, or airdrop a photo right from Quick Look. Preview has a new document manager for iCloud documents, although when you hit new document, nothing happens. Preview lets you adjust the color of photos as well as view detailed information about the selected photo. The new reminders application for Mac mirrors the Reminders application on iOS. Address Book and iCal are now Contacts and Calendar. Notification Center for Mac mirrors the functionality of its iOS counterpart. Game Center is now present and integrates with its iOS counterpart as well.